She had the right to find out where who owned that property. The people prior to her was offered that property, and the ones prior to that were offered that property. They so chose not to purchase it. The church then bought the land. She could have done a little research, found out that that property was owned by the church, went to the church, which she used to attend. I never walked in the door of any of Sir, church. your facts are, are a little off. My client has never been offered the property. Because your client didn't live there at the time the property was for sale. Well, listen, it was zone residential. Are you aware of a, of a, a law that was passed in 2000 by the Congress called the Religious Land Use Person Act? Are you familiar with that? And the relevance is we as a town cannot deny the zone. I'll tell you why. Because they have the right as a church, religious base, to go and file civil suit appeal to court of the letter. And that will put the pound into a civil suit or into a courts with them on a litigated battle that this town cannot find them. Now, if we deny that and the church decides this is what they want to do, she's going to lose fire, she's going to lose police, and she's going to lose every other thing she has in this town because this town will have to shut down. Well, you're telling me your hands are tied. You have to approve them? According to the law. According to the law. Well, why am I saying it's a federal law? I don't know. Why are we having this here? Well, why did you not research and find this out? If you're an attorney, you should have found this out for sale. Is there any point in me going through? Religious land use and institutionalized person act. Well, you, if your hands are tied, you have to approve this. But did you not research this yourself? Or are you not familiar with this? You're an attorney. And in 2000, this was passed. It's a federal law that was passed. Well, I, my question to you, do I need to continue? My question to you is, did you not research and find this out? <laughs> Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to address the merits of this if you want me to. You can if address you don't the merits, me to, to, let me explain I'll something. You're addressing these merits as telling us we can't or we shouldn't. But the federal law says we have no choice. I'm not sure that we need a city council to even decide whether a petition is well, appropriate. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. We can, we can do this right here. We can deny this zone to appease your client. If that's make you happy, make her happy. We can do that. If we do that, then we're putting ourselves up for a suit by the church. And you don't think the reciprocal would also be true? Do you think the town of Morris has the money to go against the attorney general and the appellate courts? Do you think the town of Morris has the money to defend a lawsuit for acting arbitrarily and capriciously as you have just announced? How do you think? When I'm sitting here holding my hand, the law that was passed in 2000, it's a federal law. How are you telling me that? When I'm looking at the law, federal law, not local, not municipality, not state. I'm looking at federal. Clearly defined federal law. I sold it to the church. And it, to be honest with you, if I was <coughs> in the home, I wouldn't have been able to pay $75,000. we have already been through that. We know what the appraised value was, and I couldn't have done that. I just know my land is zoned residential. I bought a house next to a residential lot, and I really would like to um, keep the integrity of my home and the property. And I thank you for hopefully considering and not basing everything on that religious whatever it was. The federal government doesn't give churches blankets. I mean, that's just the way it is. I'm just saying they're not giving them a blanket to do whatever they want with their property. It's, it's, it, it is written that way. There may be something in there that we're reading, but guaranteed that's not the way it's written. Well, they, I didn't read give, this, the, our city attorney is the one read it, and they sent us a brief description of what the law is. And, and like I say, I'm just worried that, that they're giving us, that I understand they're looking out for more, but I'm also looking out for me. And there's got to be, you know, my realtor said, well, it's a church. What are they going to do with 90, 92 feet? And, you know, so, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, 92 feet, not a whole lot I can do with it. Yeah. But, you know. The thing is, 
I appreciate you coming forward mm -hmm. on your own without bringing someone else. Really? And uh, and it's not a jab to you. It's not a jab to bring. No, I appreciate you saying that. This is good. I, Let him talk. I, I, I believe that Miss Bart had came forth first, and this is my honest opinion. I really don't care who votes for me this time. I was elected to do and serve a proper service. Okay. If this is posted on YouTube or anything, you will get sued. Okay. For what we're here for. So right. me too. Uh, but I believe, Ms. Bartlett, had you came to us and spoke to us first, and, and, and this is my honest opinion, the, the consideration would have been different. I don't believe it would be as much. You're speaking to me. Can I speak back to that when well, you get let done? Me I will. It wouldn't have been as big as it has turned out to be. I honestly don't believe that. We've had issues in this town before with the zoning problem. It turned out to be a massive thing. It shouldn't have been because someone went outside. It'll be much bigger after tonight. Okay. Well, go ahead now. Now, I would like to respond to that. I, I think it was very clear that it has been said, which I, I guess you weren't in any of the zoning meetings, no. but I came to the city hall and I did not originally hire an attorney. I hired an attorney when I found out that the previous deacon and Henry Michael had passed away and now there's a, there was another deacon, uh, David Riddlesberger, who I, the only reason I found that out that he was a deacon is because I sat down and read the paper just like everybody else that a deacon passed away and Pat McCool was saying we're going to miss the member a member of our church, a deacon of our church and the chairman of the zoning board. Well, you picture yourself living in my house. I'm getting ready to go up before the zoning board thinking just naive, like I'm going to tell them everything. Now, before you answer, listen to me. Sure. So I, I panicked. I mean, there's no question. So there is, there wasn't even an issue with, yes, Misty is going to get on the phone and get a hold of a property attorney. I don't have the money just to throw away. No way. I'm a single mom, but I knew I have Houston, we've got a problem. That's when the attorney stepped into the picture. And if he had not... I remember very well, and it's all recorded, that previous city council meeting when Craig said those things to me. If I had not had my attorney, I know uh, what would have happened. One zoning me board meeting had already gone through and members of the church refused to recuse themselves. So how can you sit there and tell me like if I would have talked? I tried to talk. I was told to direct, direct all of my concerns to a member of Eden Baptist Church. How does that work out? From the zoning board? From the mayor. So I was told to direct everything. I have letters. I have everything. Trust me. My laptop is full and even in the safety deposit box at the bank. I have got a lot. And I worked very hard to try to talk to the city and had no idea what was happening. And I understand if you didn't know, realize all that, I, I but be no really careful because... Right. Well, I'm just telling you, I you don't have to worry about that because I, Misty... Matter of fact, I, I've never hired a property property attorney. I really thought moving into this house that actually Morris would be very proud that I would take care of this home, and I had no idea all this was going to happen. I question, but I'm literally right here in the middle, and I'm going to do everything I can to protect myself, and I'm I'm not done, and I'm I'm committed to protect myself and my home because I know that this is only a step. So it's, it, you, you can say it, had, it got big. I appreciate it getting big. I appreciate every reporter that came and that videoed and that took pictures and that has been here shining a spotlight because when Misty tried to ask for help, we saw what happened. But when Misty got an attorney and the media got involved, we saw a little bit of change. Now, I'm very thankful that it got big because it was Misty's only prayer for anything fair. And I'm sorry if he's made y'all mad, but let me tell you, I have been, I'm, I'm scared. Uh, the things I have seen progress in every one of these meetings, anybody would be very scared. And that's that if you live in the Snow Rogers house, you have got to budget in your monthly expenses an attorney. And I have planned to do so pretty much for the rest of the time I own that house. I'm John Hamble. Morris, Alabama, and been through all of the meetings except one. Uh, to the council, uh, maybe you cannot answer this question, maybe you can. If you choose not to zone, 
this property yes we have asked you to do it can we not still cut down the trees can we still not develop that property um, in what aspect would you be asking well in the fact that you know they have they have made statements that you know they like the trees and they like 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 this and that and the other could we not cut down the trees and put a double wide or build a house or something it's residential i mean uh but that's neither here nor there that's just a question for all no way do we want to be adversarial